Now I'm sure you want to see what kind of apron I have this time. Walk up, little Susie. That's what it is. Now, first of all, you see, this is a nice green vegetable. This is called a broccoli. <laughs> I was told that one broccoli a day, you will get all the vitamin C that you need, you know, for every day. So you should chew on this every day, and you don't have to swallow all those pills. <laughs> I'm going to show you another technique how to handle the vegetable to make them greener and more nutritious. But before I do that, I'd like to show you how to sharpen the cleaver, okay? Now, you don't need a fence. A one piece. That's what they say in Italy. <laughs> Your price is right. <laughs> the Italian, you know, they really learn a lot from the Chinese. When Marco Polo went to China, you know what he did? We showed them how to make chow mein noodle. We showed them how to make one ton. By the time when he went back to Italy, he learned how to do, make it all right, but he forgot the name. He changed the name Chow Mein to Spaghetti. <laughs> and changed the one time to Ravioli. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? What the heck? I'm going to make one thing perfectly clear. Come on, Canada. Meet you at the fair. Housewares Fair at the Bay. It's for people who love to cook. And cooks who love people. Our, uh, our next guest was born in Hong Kong and has been cooking since the age of 10. He is the author of several books and the star of Walk with Yan. Did I say that right? Walk with Yan on Lifetime Cable TV. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Stephen Yan. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Boy, it's a long walk. It is a long walk. It's yeah. a long walk for this Chinaman to be with Letterman. <laughs> what do you think about that? Okay. So